thousands of suns in the sky, yet a twilight, cheerful wind, still a deep melancholy. Thus we are. We run till we stop, we fight till we win, we win till we lose, we lose till we laugh, we laugh till we cry, we cry till we breathe. So we are in the state of Orisha in eastern India, Puri is considered as one of the Char Dham for Hindus. Its spiritual importance and rich cultural heritage are at the center of attraction for the tourists from all over the globe. Every year millions of pilgrims gather here for visiting the Jagannath temple and other holistic shrines. The most popular event in Puri, the Rathiyatra yields one of the biggest religious gatherings where the history, craftsmanship and legends come alive. The sand art and the applicart are the other important crafts of the city. The district's economy is primarily dependent on the religious festival-based tourism and selling hand crops. The other resource that contributes in the revenue is fishing. In this economic segment, Pentakota charts second only after Chilka. Even after few cyclones in the last couple of years, the story hasn't changed much. Pentakota, a small village at the outskirts of Puri is a home to about 20,000 people, mostly migrated from a coastal village in the Andhra Pradesh with the same name. These numbers are mostly dominated by children and women. Despite being the second largest group contributing to the state's marine economy, these native dwellers live in extreme poverty and have hardly any access to the basic amenities like hygiene, healthcare, primary education, etc. The role of women and children in the family has evolved much from their year-old tradition. From a mere participation in the household stuff to sharing economic burden to a significant extent. Monthly household income during peak time is just about 1000 bucks, which falls to half during the other period in the year. To fulfill the family needs, fathers fly rickshaws, sell stimulants, and the mothers are increasingly drawn to sex work. To protect their mothers and help their families to meet the day's end, boys are forced into child prostitution. Such rackets are mostly run by the non-indigenous travelers coming from both nearby and abroad. The omnipresent deprivation from basic rights and exploitation forces them to proselytism. Several missionaries provide them food education and clothes at the exchange of their individual honor and human existence. Like every day, the sun rises in the east. After the darkness, the light and faith is the mist. The fireball elucidates the air and life springs in joy. And head of increases battery. Amidst the insomnia, Vishnu wakes up from his sleep. He welcomes the sunshine with the hope of a new beginning. Like every day, he wets himself in the sun. Nature feeds her child with love and affection. Priest showers blessings in ringing bells, and he walks down the rusty street to pray for all his desires. He comes to the school. Deities offer him knowledge and peace. He looks at the rusty streets. The stone stumbles over, and he too. He faces the dust and puts his feet outside his deity's home. He continues his search for life. 
His survival continues and he murmurs the failure of success. Vishnu moves further with hope and he meets Priscilla. She shares his pain and grief. She smiles and they look for Ani. He sends fish and she helps. His duties are his biggest obligations, but he never regrets. His memory is fading, and he leans over the truth. Doubt stumbled him, and he looks at himself. His eyes strain, but he stays strong. Regrets are the biggest lies. Lies create life, and life starts from here.